dividend payout ratio explained. If you want to generate passive income through dividend paying stocks, then you should keep an eye out on the dividend payout ratio. This ratio tells you how much of the company's net income or earnings is being paid out to shareholders as a dividend. The formula is calculated by taking the annual dividend and dividing it by the earnings per share. A company can do a multitude of things with its net income or earnings. They can reinvest it back into the company to launch new projects, buy new equipment, pay down debt, etc. They can also use a portion of their net income to buy back shares. If a company is sitting on a large pile of cash year after year, shareholders will demand dividends to be paid out. Reason for this is that shareholders can invest these dividends instead of just letting it pile up. So what is a good dividend payout ratio? Well, it depends on the industry a company is in and its historical payout ratio. On average, I look for a payout ratio under 60%, but there are always exceptions. Real Estate Investment Trusts, or REIT, need to pay out a higher amount of their net income as dividends, which is 90%. It's always good to look at the dividend payout ratio throughout the years. This gives you a better idea where it's trending towards. For example, if you look at GPC, you can see that they've done a pretty good job keeping their payout ratio below 60%. Only one year it shot up above 60%, but it came back down. But if you look at the rising GE stock, you can see that the payout ratio has been in the 90% and above these last years. For a dividend investor, this is quite concerning because it shows us that almost all the net income GE is generating is being paid out as a dividend. One or two bad financial years will force GE to either cut or halt the dividend payment, which they have already done in the past. I avoid these types of companies like the plague. Another scenario you have to pay attention to is if the payout ratio keeps increasing year over year. You always want to see consistency. So seeing an increase means that the company is gradually and sometimes drastically paying more of its net income out to shareholders as a dividend. This is not a deal breaker though, but something to keep an eye on. In the example on screen, you can see that the Coca-Cola payout ratio has spiked above 60% and it's almost at 100%. Management needs to make the necessary adjustments in order to get the payout ratio back in line. In this example, you can see that McDonald's is doing a better job of getting their payout ratio down. It got up to 72%, but it's back down to 66%. So what's better, a higher payout ratio or a lower one? A high ratio, of course, means more dividends are being paid out. But it could also mean the company does not have a lot of wiggle room to increase its dividends. If a company has a low ratio, like in the 20s or 30s, then the company can safely increase its dividends even if earnings drop one year. For example, Ross Stores. This company has been able to keep its dividend payout ratio low. This gives it the flexibility to increase its dividends even if they don't increase their earnings. Now, not all companies pay out dividends. Companies in their growth phase, such as Snapchat and Tesla, invest all their earnings into growing their companies. Most companies that pay out a dividend are mature and stable companies who have been in business for a long time. Once a company starts paying out a dividend, it does its best to keep its shareholders happy by continually paying dividends and even increasing the payout. Investors rely on their dividend payments so it's in a company's best interest to keep them happy. There are companies that have paid out dividends consistently for 20, 30, 40, and even over 50 years. So it's not a good look for a company if they cut or halt their dividend payments. That's why management always has to do a good job by cutting costs and increasing profits. So the dividend payout ratio is just one metric you wanna take a look at when evaluating a dividend paying company. We'll look at the other metrics in a different video. And actually, I'll put all these different videos in a playlist so it's gonna be easy to watch them back to back. Guys, if you have any comments or questions, just put them in the comment section below. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.